Yeah, well, it's up and coming. <laughs> what would they know? Keep themselves in a job. <laughs> yeah, pets are pushers. Listen, Terence, we got the green light on that other thing, did we? You know, the restructure in Fibsborough and the other place in Gorey? You said you'd get back to me on Monday? I need to know. What do you mean, not a hope? You said you'd clear it. Oh no, you told me to my face. Investors? What investors? Try I'm a shareholder. Same difference, isn't it? It's all money. Are you telling me you guys are going to walk away from this after 10 years? <laughs> you know, Terence, I put a call into the regulator today. Oh yes, I will get like that. These properties are worth 30 million euro and you know it. Let's cut the shit now, will you, alright? What's this? What's what? You know, Tom, what is this letter from the bank? What letter? It's not. It's just a routine, routine thing. It's talking about our family home, Tom. It says we're going into arrears. Look. When did you take a mortgage out in our house, Tom? I thought we owned this place outright. I'm just reorganising things. There's nothing to worry about, okay? What are you doing? We could lose our family home. Well, I can't do this right now. What are you doing? I'm so tired of people calling here every day looking for money. What is going on? I said... There's nothing to worry about, Martha. Okay. No, don't try and fog me off with that bullshit. What is going on? Look, Martha. Tell me the truth! It's just business. Would you please leave it? No, I won't you have to leave. Would you please stop? No, I won't stop. You never told me that you were mortgaging our house. This is our children's home, Tom. I mean, where are we supposed to go now? What are we supposed to do? You tell me that, Tom. I don't know! To see a man tortured is a horrible pain. But to see a man tortured by his own mind, that is something that arose the soul. Half the time he was unaware. Calm. Like he had forgotten his torture. But the other half, when he was aware, I guess it doesn't matter now. His family wasn't there. I wasn't even there. Lost in his mind with no one beside him in his final hour. Still, should not dwell. If only I knew how long there was left, I could make my preparations accordingly. <laughs> One can't be forever saying one's last prayers.
You see my point? The Prosecutor General instructed you to make your final arrangements immediately after the trial. But what does that mean? I am a human being, not a bookkeeper's ledger to be tutted up and left to await the auditor's pleasure? I wonder if you realize the courage this situation demands for me. It's easy for you to sit there. We will postpone this game. No more hysterics, Constantine, my old friend. Remember, you're looking at your potential deliverance. A soul tenuous link to whatever friends you've left outside. Thank you.